Welcome to one and all. Today we are uh, going to discuss uh, what are the different electrical components we are going to use in our electrical workshop lab. In this one, the first and foremost component I would like to introduce here is voltmeter. This one is voltmeter here, which is used to measure voltage. In this, they can indicate some V letter, and also we can easily observe there is some underlying part here. Na? It's a type of meter here is which is used for DC. And this type here is moving coil. Okay, kindly observe one thing. We are having some three knobs here right now. Plus 15, 30. And this plus is common. And this uh, 15 volts and 30 is the different ranges we can measure it here. If you would like to connect plus and 15, we can measure this particular line. If I can connect a plus and 30, I can observe the up to here. We can also know the things here 30 volts now that it is 15 into 2 will give us information 30. If the reading is 6, we can observe that voltage there is 12. This type of instrument is nothing but moving coil type DC voltmeter. We can measure DC voltage. Different ranges here is 15 volts and 30 volts. Yeah. Thank you. The instrument I would like to go here is I would like to measure current. Current units here are amperes now, they can indicate A letter. And the underlying part here is it can measure DC amperes, that it is DC current. In this also, we are having some three knobs knob number one, two, three. Out of three knobs, we can use it only two. This plus is fixed, that it is common is fixed, and we can go for the part of whether one range or two range. If the value is pointed, I can connect it to the level of 1 and this positive. If the value is 1.5 means I can connect it for the part of this 2, positive and 2. Observe these readings here. This one is the scale. They can give it some scale from 0 to 1. And observe the things. In between the part of 0 to 0.1, there are 10 divisions here. And each division will comprising of 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, up to the level of 0.9 then we go for the part of 0.1 there 0.09 next 0.1 these are the different scalings if i'd like to connect it two range means make it multiplying with two if the value is 0.2 here means the value if you connect to the two that value there is 0.2 into 2 the value is 0.4 we can indirectly measure both the readings with the help of this different ranges this type of instrument may be called it as dc ammeter type here is moving coil yeah. The next instrument uh, here is wattmeter. This is a type of instrument which is used to measure power. And the units for the power here is watts now, they can indicate W. In this, it can have both the two types of coils will be there. One type of coil here is current coil, another one here is voltage coil or else pressure coil. The combination of ML may be called it as current coil. And the combination of common and these three type of voltages may be called it as pressure coil or as voltage coil. Power is a, nothing but it's a product of voltage and current. Now, voltage here is this one, current here is this coil, these two. And we are having some different ranges now that it is if I'd like to go for uh, 150, 300, 600, all these are different ranges of voltages, CV coil. And this one is ML coil. And don't forget the things while going for the part of experiment. We have to short it MC terminals. That's a key point there while going for watt meter. Observe the readings here. There are some different scales there. We can measure 150 range, 300 range, 600 range. Now, if they have connected, another knobs is also there B1, B2, and E1, E2. We are having some blades. If they have connected B1 and B2, observe at the back side of this watt meter, they have given some scales like this. Yeah, observe. We can have some voltage different ranges now 150, 300, 600. Current is in between the ranges of 5 to 10 amperes. Observe this one is a circuit. If the blades are connected for B1 and B2, how much amperes here? 5 amperes. If they have connected B1, E2 and E1, E2, this one. B1, E1, E2 and B2, E1. At that time, how much current here? For 10 amperes. Right now, how much amperes you have to connect it here? B1, B2 means? 5 amperes. This one is the reading we have to note down. And ranges here is if they have connected 150 means 5 amperes, the multiplying factor we have to go for it is 1. If they have connected 300 means we have to go for multiplying factor into 2. 
what's our major reading here 100 means 100 into 2 you have to note it out if they have connected 600 volts means if the reading here is 10 if the reading here is 100 volts 100 watts the value here is 100 into 4 that it is 400 watts we have measured indirectly these are the different ranges and this one is for the part of current rating for the blades v1 v2 and v1 u2 e1 b2 that's it the next instrument uh, i may use it here is rheostat it's in a wire wound type type here is wire wound different coils like this now and in this rheostat the, re the rheostat value here, here is 25 ohms current limit here is 5 amperes they have indicated like this in this one we are having some three knobs this one second knob third knob let it be a b c if i'd like to connect it these two knobs name may be called as fixed knobs this one may be called it as it is varying now straight to the varying knob this one is variable knob we can vary it out of these three knobs we can use it only two whether these two or else these two or else these two if they have connected only these two knobs that it is nothing but fixed knobs now knob number b and knob number c and total 25 ohms will be connected starts from here ended like this if i have connected only these two knobs the current may travel like this these only resistance will connect it if they have connected this one and this one there is no connection in between this one they enter like this and it connect only this particular part yeah fixed knobs are these two this one is variable now we can connect it only two knobs out of three only two depends upon our resistance value we can clearly observe with the help of some one more meter here multimeter yeah i can make it all this uh, multimeter here means it can measure voltage value current value and thereafter ohms value also that it resistance value also there just now i have connected for the part of measurement of this uh, resistor start values that too in ohms mode observe this one ohms mode now we can measure it current also amperes we can measure it voltage also here yeah this red colored one is the voltage measurement or ohms measurement whereas this common is fixed if i'd like to connect it this knob for the milliamperes means this one or microamperes then i'd like to change this knob here up to here like this if i'd like to go for the part of voltage means remove this one and connect it voltage like this or ohms right now i may have uh, to observe only this rheostat value that to ohms yeah observe this thing if i would like to go for the part of in between two fixed knobs we get some value maybe like this observe that value 27.7 due to some rust all these things there is some addition of some resistance will be there that's not an issue observe the things if i would like to change this value to variable knob and this one we get some value maybe like this 10 and the remaining value is also there now this value yeah the total summation 27 the current can travel from this point to only this portion whereas this one and this one is nothing but we can collect only the small portion the center thing only the small resistance square one this one is a measurement how we can measure this single tone rheostat in a similar fashion we are having some uh, double tone rheostat here going for uh, next we are going for double two that it is this one is one and this one is another part total resistance value here is 200 ohms now this one is one coil and this one is another coil 100 and this one is 100 we can have some uh, four knobs here inside the part two knobs this one other two knobs if i'd like to connect it these two sides like this the total resistance value we can measure it there is like this it's approximately 146 now the, uh, the current can travel like this observe it can travel like this and it can leave it like this only this portion and this portion will count it out if i can change those values observe yeah observe right now it's only 45 and 45 this one is 45 and that one is 45 if i'd like to connect it to the maximum value observe the change in the values 150 up to end we can measure 200 ohms but we can use this uh, double tube like this now and uh, single tube also we can measure it with the help of this variable now only one tube is there this one 
fork to this one there, 70 or else this one also. So that's it. This one is double to your start. Measurement here is these two are fixed knobs only you have to use it. This side or that side. The next uh, instrument I would like to introduce here is it's a uh, regulated power supply that to dual channel. Dual channel just observe the things. This one is one channel. This one is second channel. Red color and black color is one channel. This one is another channel. Two channels we can use it simultaneously. And in this one the knobs are in order to give voltage up to the level of how much voltage we can give it here is 0 to 30 volts. This one is voltage now. This one is current. We can change these values voltage like this. Observe those values. Let it be we can uh, in a faster manner we can increase like this. In a step by step manner this is fine tuned. 7.6, 7.7, 7.8 like this. This one is a current now. If I'd like to press it like this, we can observe some current values there in this one. This one is an enter channel. When we have connected for the circuit, we can observe these current values. Right now we don't observe these values. This one is one specific channel for channel 1. This one is channel 2. Dual now, dual in the sense regulated power supply. We can give it up to the range of 0 to 30 volts positive negative to apply some voltage we have to give it like this up to the how much voltage we can give it here up to maximum 30 volts see it's channel number two also there how much voltage we can give it there up to 30 volts in some of the experiments we may use both the channels at that time we may use this one one channel is enough means we can use it only this two and uh, if only both channels means both these two and these two yeah while uh, you are uh, going to switch off your uh, experiment bring all the knobs to the minimum position then we can off it there the next apparatus we have to introduce here is auto transformer or dimmer starter or else there are three different names in this one we can use some AC supply. Till now, we can observe only DC values now. And in this one, alternating current AC supply voltages uh, here. We can uh, use it up to the levels of some 0 to 260. We can vary it like this. Two knobs will be here. One thing is phase, and the one is neutral. For the DC supply, we are having some positive negative. Where if uh, AC supply, phase, and neutral. We can have some zero scaling like this. Depends upon our experiment we can use it to different AC voltage values like this. If you are not in a position to observe this scale values means try to connect it one voltmeter parallelly. Yeah, observe this voltmeter, we can directly ob uh, obtain the values there. Yeah, this needle is changing. When I am wearing this uh, only black colored part only you have to put it. Don't uh, keep your hands on the part of this supply. We can observe that entire 230 volt supply. Yeah, Pre precautious here. While moving this uh, enter variac or dimmer starter or auto transformer, you have to uh, keep it an eye on the part of this black colored part. And we can observe those readings in the part of voltmeter. Parallelly, I have connected one voltmeter for the sake of observation of voltage. Observe how much voltage will be there. That's uh, 70 points, uh, 80 volts. But I have connected 300 range now. 80 into 2, its a voltage here is 160 volts. If you are not in a position to observe this scale, just connect it one meter parallelly. Which type of meter you have to connect it? This one is voltage now, voltmeter you have to connect it. 